Now the question here is who described the following technique? The options are Friedman, Beagle, Hunter and Azzi. Now let's see into the uh, detail of the figure or the illustration shown here. If you see in A, you will be appreciating that this particular area, right? This particular area is devoid of soft tissue. That means the interdental papilla, interdental papilla is missing. Okay. There is loss of interdental papilla in this case. Now another thing which we can appreciate here, there is a incision that is made palatal to the uh, palatal on the soft tissue to the tooth, right? In the next step in B figure, we can see that a split thickness graft has been raised and in C, we can see this pedicle graft has been sutured on the buccal or the facial aspect of the tooth so that it simulates a dental papilla, okay, interdental papilla basically, interdental papilla. Now, this particular whole technique is basically known as the pedicle graft technique. Okay, I'll again uh, let you know about this technique, pedicle graft technique and this was given by Beagle in 1992. So again, we will revise the steps. First, you have to give an incision on the palatal aspect, then you will have to raise a split thickness graft. Why split thickness graft? So that later, they, there will be some connective tissue which is remaining, right? Now, this connective tissue will be having a lot of uh, mesenchymal cells, a lot of capillaries, a lot of blood supply, of course, and that can have some undifferentiated cells that can give rise to further connective tissue as well as your epithelium. So, this tissue will regenerate over a period of time. Now, here on the buccal side, we have used this uh, graft, the pedicle basically, and we have made a papilla, we have reconstructed a papilla, okay. So this technique was of course described by Beagle and that was our question also. So the pedicle graft technique was uh, described by Beagle, okay. Now one more thing uh, I must uh, add here, there should be an use of periodontal dressing and it is generally done for supporting the papilla. So whatever pedicle you have created here, the artificial papilla or reconstruction of the papilla which has been made, that has to get support initially, okay. So that is provided by your periodontal dressing. So of course the answer to this is Beagle, this is a papilla reconstruction technique and this is also known as, this, uh, this is basically, specifically it is a pedicle graft technique.